Good day, listeners. And again, we want to continue our video from where we stop in the basic Python programming. This is the third video on this same uh, crash course in basic uh, Python programming. We have been able to uh, write some code using control uh, flow, if a statement and all that. Been able to do some other video. Please, if you miss any of my video, go back to the channel and watch some of our track, our previous track of videos, so that you can be carried along. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment on the comment section for any other video that you want us to what come up with. Now today I want us to I want to introduce us to a, a technique called for loop in Python programming. Every programming language has their looping. Okay, they have loop. What does loop do? It iterates a value, or it iterates any uh, it iterates value. Okay, from the base, which is the from the starting point which you set for it, down to what the uh, a, a limit which you have set for it, or which is the end point of that value. Okay, it loop through the value. It's for iteration. Okay. Now let's talk about loop. Okay. Now we are going to define the value here. I want to define the numbers as value. I pass it to what? A list of data which is one, three, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, these are the data. Uh pose me that I can see ten. Okay. Now after that I now define for loop. See for I in these numbers. Okay. Start looping from I, okay. I treat this I and start searching from B0, Terry. This, down, down, down. This, that is what the for loop will do. Now, I want to loop through this value and set a limit that when you get to certain limit, break the loop, okay. Stop looping. Now, if we come here, for loop for I in the range of number, we also okay, print I. If we print i, this is how the, it will look like, okay? All the statement what will show. But we don't want to print i, okay? At this point in time. Now, what we want to do, we want to come here and say, if i is greater than 5, it should break the loop. Now, thank God for uh, function, uh, method, and mechanism, or techniques in Python, it has what we call break, okay? This will break the loop. Now, if I run this code, now it's showing me what error because I didn't put what semicolon here. So this one ought to be what indented. Okay. Now at this point, the code is what fine. Now when we run this code, you see, it start the iteration from one, three, it pick four, it pick five, it pick six. So immediately it get to five. Okay, it break the loop. Okay. That if it want to, if this loop want to go beyond five, if it is greater than five, break the loop. If you want to say okay, make it six around this code, you see that seven now will be added. You see? If this iteration want to go beyond six, break the loop. Immediately you get to five, you break the loop. You see how we can was set a limit? Okay? By by definition. The number in the database which is stored on this variable called number is more than this. We have 8 here, we have 9, we have 10. You can add more value, 20, 30, 90, as the case may be. Supposing we are pulling these values from database, okay, and we don't want to iterate all of them. We want to pick the one that, it's, let's talk about sales, okay, okay, all this one was sold within this week. So we want to make reference to all the product that was sold within this week. Okay, let's say okay from week one, week one, all these are the value that was sold and it ended here. So for consistency, okay, and also for clarity, we don't want to pull out all the old data, but we want to filter it, okay, and stop at a certain limit. So we can use such techniques that this loop starts counting. And when you get to certain range, break the loop. And this is all we want. Okay? From this particular what variable or data store in this particular what variable called what number. Okay? That is what another way. Now again, we can use for loop 
to do some interesting things here we can do copy this whole code come to the next uh, cell now you can come here and say okay for i in the range of all these values here okay now let's print i multiply it by two sorry i multiply by two that means as you are iterating this value multiply the word by two now if we run this code you see that two times one will give us two two times three will give us six two times four will give us what eight two times six will give us two two times seven will give us fourteen okay now because okay all the people who uh, patronize us within this period we want to give them discount of two percent okay okay so we are now adding two to all the sales from all the sales all the people who patronize we are adding two percent to all the sales okay for instance okay so we can say okay this is what two percent of all the sales that were what made within that word period okay are you getting it good so we run it now if i make it integer sorry float you see how it will look like but we'll just make it an integer so you can do so many things when you talk about python you can talk about so many things now i want to take us again to another technique called what uh, split what does split what does it do what split does let's define a variable here call it a checklist i say this checklist we're going to define a, uh, a string sorry as i can say from we have to say okay this email let's say this email is from is from Brandy Cook at gmail.com. Okay, and this email was sent on Sunday, okay, February, okay, as at 11, 11, as at 11, 45, 16 second or 17 second. Okay, okay. I will now say AM in the year 2023. That was this when this email was what sent to us. Okay, now when I come in, ask okay, what count? We define a variable say what count is equals to checklist. This variable I want to split all these keywords. Now say checklist dot what split. There's a function called split in Python, and what we are splitting. We want to split it irrespective of uh, uh, punctuation okay in most cases some person will say okay split it using comma or split it using dash okay but this time we want to split it without what any punctuation mark i'll now come and say print word eh? you should print word word count for us if we run this code let's see what the result will look like good without even adding what method you should split it with by default python will display this value by splitting it with what quotation okay and with what comma separated what value remember when we define this value there was no comma there's no comma here but now it's now say this email is from this bandico sunday february this this it uh, am and also what the year so this is what split does if we have a keywords or a string or a list of statements that we want to split and separate it it will help us to separate it and there's some other things we can do with split okay as we proceed in the advanced level we'll be seeing so many other things we can what do with splitting now that is that for what splitting again let's talk about replace statement or replace keywords now we have something here if I come here, okay, check. I will define this one. Check two is equals to. Uh, let me use the same statement. Yeah, let me use the same string that was used here. I want to copy this whole string here and paste it here. Okay, I want to use this string. I call it check two. Okay, let me use word two. Let me use word word two. So this is word. I call this one one word two. Okay. 
And now, after this word too, I come here. <laughs> Don't be offended. I'm still fond of PHP <laughs> using comma at the end of it, but it will not trigger error, though. So in uh, Python, even though you put semi uh, semi uh, column or uh, comma or whatever, it's also what run the code. Okay. Now, now we we'll come here. I uh, will now come here. So okay. Uh, what two? Okay, is equals to. Hmm? Let me say is equals to. Okay, what check? Uh, we've got the what check. Is equals to what check? Is equals to what two? Okay, dot replace. Okay, what are we replacing? We are replacing this dot com. Okay, this word here called dot com. Yeah, this dot com here. We are replacing dot com. Dot com with a. Sorry. Say dot com. We are replacing dot com with the QS code what? Dot net. Okay, dot net. Okay, now when we come here and print this statement print word check okay if we say print this word check let's see what will happen you know by first definition we see this email is for what brand go dot what dot com if you look at dot com now it has turned to what dot net okay that is what we can do with what replace keywords another one again is what upper and lower you see all these statements we define them with lower what keywords and it will return it that way what about in a situation also we want to define this way and print them in what in upper case i will ask okay okay check terry as a variable is equals to i'll put this statement here i define the same variable i'm using the same string don't forget and ask okay what terry is equals to check check terry dot upper okay there's a function called upper that means all these words we should change to what upper case now if i come here and ask okay print word what terry what happened all these small keywords or small letter has turned to what capital letter or big letter words okay that is what we can do with what uh, upper and what small letter supposing these words are also what in small let, uh, big letter okay or capital letter i can come here and say lower if i run this code it has turned it to what lower case so lower is to turn it to lower case as the name imply upper is to turn it to what upper case now since we've been able to understand that let's deep, go deeper okay I want us to build a simple application more or less like an inventory what this application does or is going to do for us is to check when a stock is out of uh, a, a product is out of stock it will not alert that we or the sales manager that so 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 stock need to be what restocked okay we are running out of what so 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 uh, product it could be apple it could be editing beverages or whatever so i'm going to use beverages for the sake of this course now i want to define a variable here call it a, a fruit fruit and this fruit we're going to pass it to what a top of data list or whatever in the case me say apple i'll come here and say apple okay i'll come here and say orange orange uh, let me use a uh, uh, mango okay i'll use a banana banana i'll use another fruit called sugar i have another one sorry i need to wrap it in a quotation single quotation i have another i call it a, a, a so, uh, berry okay as the case may be let's say these are the list of a uh, stock we have or products in our what 
in our uh, 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 in our counter or in our store okay now we want to know when each stock or when we are running out of what stock now if I come here and I come and say if make okay there is no make here remember there is no make here and I say make okay and fruit okay if make in fruit this make here if make in this fruits here yeah you yeah? should print that you already what you still have make in your store okay x x it should tell us something oh, x okay i'm coming i'm going to use two different techniques here x it should tell us that there is no make please stop if we run this code let's see how it will look like you see there is no what no make please stop okay please stop all right now this is the error message uh, the alert message now alternatively we can come here and say if make eh, not yes there's a keyword is called not in python not in fruit not a fruit okay if this keyword is not a fruit you should what tell us something okay you should tell us something okay now what is it telling us it says syntax make okay is there is, is, is there's an error here if make not s a leaf sorry we're supposed to use a leaf okay okay now you see there is no what make please stop this is two different way we can what use it you see that you use a leaf or use what x statement to end your what uh, uh, control flow okay now we've been able to what check now supposing we now come here and add make into our grocery or at the list of fruits that we have now when we run this code what should it tell us you still have make in your what in your store okay it returned that statement that we still what have make in our what in our store okay that is that on that angle okay now since we understand that i want us to look at another example another interesting example with a control flow we have been making use of if and s statement now for some time i want us to look at another example this one is going to be a dynamic one instead of coming here to change it and type it here you know we paste this one here we copy this link and paste it here instead of doing those ones we want to do it dynamically dynamically so that it will look responsive okay we don't need to go there and check all we need to do come to the search bus search is there make enter it will give us a message okay to do that i want to come there i want to come here and say food define a variable call it a food list is equals to i will copy all this data here okay put it here that's our food list now when i come here and ask okay food list this food list we'll pass it to what an input because we want to give users input sorry we want to give users input so that they can be able to what enter something okay so that when i run this code now you see it's telling me to what enter a value i can enter a value here okay so now let's proceed now we have been able to what define an input whereby we can take input to search more rather like a keyword search engine. Now we'll now come and say if uh, if mink now come here and say if mink mink mm, in food list if there is mink in our food list, it should print that 
we what uh, already have me yeah? in the store already have me in the store okay that is that and if yeah and if cake let's check for what uh, cake remember we don't have cake here let's check cake in our food list hmm? you should return let's see that you have cake you have cake in your store already okay okay x if none of this okay we can make use of what x statement now to end that loop and say print and tell us that you eh, you need this item okay what are those what is that item do not come here and i'll say food item or, or food list now let's run this code and see the output of what it will show us if we run this code there is no error that means we are good to go now i will come here and type make you already have what make okay because there is make here now what if i come here and type cake you see you already have cake because that is the error message i put here so it should be able to tell us that uh, i'll put cake here let me put cake here now okay because the error message so you should already have cake that's why it's showing us that now if we run it now and put cake it obey the rules now exactly because we actually have what cake in our store now what about in a situation i want to search for another item that is not in our store let's talk about uh, uh, fish fish you say you need this item fish okay he was able to what itemize it that this is what item that you what you need okay now if i come here and, and type lion you say you need this item called what <laughs> lion <laughs> lion is not an item it's an animal please okay now okay this is how the application work this is how we can what make do with it now i want to do something what i want to do is this you see that when we search for uh, cake cake okay it says i already have what cake what about when i search for what fish you say i don't have this fish item okay it's supposed to also pop up the uh, search uh, input uh, engine where we can search so that you can search for another item because you can't be running the application over and over again to solve this solution to make a bring solution to this uh, challenge we need to what use what they call for loop which have what introduced us into in our previous uh, uh, lecture or in our previous video please feel free to go back to our previous video and watch now to bring solution to that i will come here remember i'm just going to take this whole code yes take this whole code come here i want to integrate this one okay put here i want to integrate it uh let's say let's say call it uh, let's say i want to say this is a, a latest version okay of that of the code previous one now what we want to do here is this it's going to be a very simple one you see this our input here which is take this input here we are going to pick it out from that place okay okay we'll come here and say run a loop here that for i items eh, in food list for item in food list okay we cannot defend this item called items this variable called item to be equals to our input equals to this word input are you getting it now so that we can be able to have something like this and then we can break are you getting it now that if make 
in full list, it should print a statement. If cake in the CD, it should print a statement. If sugar, it should print a statement. If this one, it should print a statement. If what is not there, what should happen? Okay? Are you getting it now? What should happen? It should tell us something. Now, let's run this code. If I put mink, it print the statement. What about if I put fish? You see? You already, sorry? Is there fish here? No? There's error here. We want to fix this code now. Let's fix it. Okay. Good. Now, to what I'm trying to do exactly is this. We already have all this code here. Now, I want to define a, a priority value here. In Python, if we have a value or, or, or a words quoted in single quotation, and there's another words inside that quotation which is using with double quotation, you are telling the uh, uh, code or the program that you are giving priority to this particular words inside double word quotation because the parent quotation is what single quotation. Okay, you can go back and watch our previous video when we are doing a calculator design. Okay, you see how we make use of a, a prioritizing a value or a keywords. Okay, now we're going to prioritize our keywords here. And what are those keywords that we want to prioritize? Those are I want to come here. I want to come here. So okay, double quotation comma another double quotation comma another double quotation comma another one comma another one comma another one comma. Then I want to come here, pick all these words. Put apple here, pick mango, put it here, pick a banana, put it here, pick a which other words, pick a sugar, okay, put it here, okay, how many are we picking so far, let's see, pick a mink, okay, and I put it here, okay, we can as well pick a, a cake, okay put it here okay if you look at this list uh, input value now there's a quotation mark which is single and there's another quotation mark inside this single quotation mark so it therefore means that we are telling the ap application program to give priority to this word or this one in double word quotation so if you look at our code now we've been able to what define all these ones accordingly okay so what I'm going to do, I may likely duplicate this ellipse statement so that we can what put some some of them here. Okay, then I will change this one uh, to banana, change this uh, uh, cake to banana because we already have cake, change this uh, to mango. Sorry, change this uh, cake again to what banana then. Uh, after that, we make do with that. Now, we will run this code. If I come here, you see, I'm, it has printed it. Remember, it displayed it here that these are the items that we are prioritizing. If I come here and say fish, you see, you already have what? Mink. It's not supposed to give me that error. It's not supposed to give me that error. Okay. So, what we're going to do here. Uh, because uh, we are going to change this one to double quotation instead of single quotation okay all of them I'm going to change the word to single quotation double quotation sorry instead of single quotation we will change the word double quotation okay all of them will now be what double quotation now that we have them in double quotation now if we run this code I will put mink you say what you already have what mink in your store then what about put fish you say you already have mink it's not supposed to be telling me that I already have what mink so we must fix this code as quickly as possible okay now what this code is doing now is telling us that even when we have values that is out of stock is still displaying what that we already have have mink okay and that is not what we are interested in 
okay what we want to do actually is that this whole for loop why don't we come here and wrap all this thing inside our loop so that all this one will be inside our for loop okay so that when i put fish it didn't display any value okay take it back to where it was if i come and say mango you see you already have what make okay sorry that is the keywords i give to them so i show you already have make already have a you already have cake in your store you already have cake in your store this was supposed to be mango mango okay this one's supposed to be banana banana and this one also supposed to be just normal authentication message now that is that for that but what i want us to do i'm going to give you another code that will solve this challenge in a, a better way remember we've done the first one we've done the second one remember i said this is what a basic course okay i want us to exploit all the weakness and see the solution I want us to commit error and bring uh, the perfect level for it so that you will understand this in a single uh, at ease okay at ease okay so now let's do something now that will solve this whole problem at once okay it will solve this whole problem at once now what I want us to do now is this okay if we come here now and define a new variable okay I want to define a little bit. I call it a list underscore items. Okay, it's going to be a very short code compared to what we have there or what we has there. Now I'm going to pick all these ones. I'm going to pick all this data. Okay, pass it to what our list item. Okay, now now come and say for items in list item. Okay, for item in this list item. What we are interested in now is that our item it should be equals to input. Okay, take input from user. Okay, put it like this. Then we break it. We break the loop. We really you find it, what we are searching for. Then we now come and say if items. Okay, in list item. It should tell us something print that okay this item is still in stock enough okay x it should tell us something x it should print a message by telling us that we are running out of stock we are running out of stock okay that should be the statement okay now look at the code if you see plenty lines of code we wrote previously yet we didn't achieve the result that we are what looking for but now we are trying to make everything concise it at a very simple way okay now let's see if it will give us expected the results that we are looking for if I come here and type fish, you say we are running out of what stock, okay? Because there is no fish in the list what item. Now, if I come here and type make, you say this item is still in stock enough. You see, with all this plenty code that we wrote initially, yet it didn't solve the solution, okay? But now we have this very simple few lines of code yeah this is where the old thing lies here okay just for here this year we have been able to what achieve our solution now supposing the person who is searching or the stock manager or the sales rep came here and type and say fish in capital letter what will happen you say we are what running our what out of what stock it also what accept both small data and what big letter okay then if we come here again and say uh, mink okay you say we what we are running what out of our stock why is it telling us that are we actually running out of stuff for mink no because mink here is typing what a capital letter 
here we are it's typing small letter here we are typing it what in capital letter now i want to copy it and replace it here then search again with capital letter it will tell us that this item is still what in stock now how can we solve this challenge what would be a way out to bring solution to this what challenge okay now what we need to do is this we are going to come here okay i'm going to come here and say dot lower remember i've taught you what lower does and what upper does so when we come here now come and say okay if i come here and type make capital letter you will still replace and tell me that truly this item is still what in stock okay if i use small letter what will happen if i use small letter it will also what tell us that this item is still what in stock so this is how we can what solve that kind of what challenge so so far so good we've been able to do some few things we started with what looping techniques using for loop we go to our treat in terms of break setting limit we also have to multiply uh, use multiplication is our loop we talked about splitting techniques we talked about replace we talked about lower and upper case now we will now build a simple inventory application okay using different techniques and at the end we're able to what arrive well at the what latest fraction of it which is the perfect one so far i love so much this is very dynamic and responsive we don't need to come here and begin to change the item like we did initially okay so i will advise learn all these various words techniques all these different approaches and also stick to what the better one and i will advise to always tell you what different different approaches show you different different approaches then tell you the best you on your own by explanation you should all already see that this is what is the best okay by now you should understand that this is what is very simple unlike where we have a lengthy code here okay so this one is very simple okay and it's giving what us an expected result that we want desired result that we want are expecting now so far so good this is how far we can go in this video tutorial we'll continue in where we stop and still on the basic uh, python programming uh, level for learners for it's for everyone but for even though you are an advanced level there's no load when it comes to programming so i urge you to subscribe to my channel feel free to share the video link like the video share it comment and also what subscribe to my channel thank you very much for your time we will continue from here in our next video remember we are running a series we're going to do this and then enter the advanced level thank you